The average school building here in the U.S. is nearly half a century old, but here in Connecticut, many are much older than that. Because of this aging infrastructure, many schools don't have air conditioners or modern ventilation. And this week, the state bond commission approved an $11.5 million investment in these do-it-yourself style air filters, an idea that's been tested and certified by the EPA that researchers say helps remove cold and COVID viruses from the classroom. It's something you might find at a school invention convention where students use their creativity to address everyday challenges. But in Middletown, those ideas produce real results. My school is 100 years old. <laughs> That's 11-year-old Aniola Shakunbi, already in the eighth grade. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. She wants to be president someday. But before she starts solving world problems, she's focusing on the ones in the classroom. A lot of my friends were getting sick at the time with allergies and um, sicknesses. She believes they're getting sick from the germs floating around her school. So she rolled up her sleeves and got to work. So I thought that this would really help. Building a do-it-yourself style air filter made out of a box fan, four common furnace filters, duct tape, and cardboard. You can make it at home by yourself and it brings out a lot. It, you, you can make it with multiple people so it helps create teamwork, collaboration, STEM. You learn about science, you learn how it works. She did this with her classmates then in the fifth grade along with an air filtration team from the University of Connecticut. And we looked at the lab results. We knew that we had something special. And so we partnered with our School of Education to create lesson plans so that this is essentially a science project for Connecticut schools that takes only 30 minutes $65 and has a tremendous public health utility. Testing by the EPA found the filters can remove 97% of infectious aerosols in just half an hour. And this week, the project got a big boost from state leaders, with more than $11 million set aside for the material and construction of these air purifiers in classrooms across Connecticut. Fanning forward, thanks in part to Eniola's vision. I can tell all the kids, just like me, from experience, if you're determined, if you're focused, if you, if you are passionate about something and you don't give up on it, I promise you it will come to pass. Come on, how inspiring is she? Well, this funding serves as a five-year investment and is considered to be more cost-effective than traditional filtration systems that typically cost hundreds up to thousands of dollars a piece.